From Vienna, the city that would still be recognizable to its citizens from the Middle Ages, welcome to Socks Talk Politics. Our noble guest tonight, Marco Tunison. Hello and welcome back to Socks Talk Politics. Oh, I hear you. Believe me, I'm just as excited as you are. Brian, will you sign this petition, please? Oh, earthquake! Earthquake! Brian? Earthquake! James, save Sock Dog! Brian? Go, oh, no, I hope he's all right. Brian? Someone should save me! I mean him! Oh! Brian Bartholomew Sock! It's not an earthquake. They're tearing down the building next to ours. That's what this petition is about. The association Socks for Sustainability wants the city to reuse the materials of the old building. That's possible? Sure. If you would rejoin us above your table, you will see that. The municipality of Kerkrade deconstructed high-rise buildings and reused the recovered materials to build sustainable, modern social housing units. Please welcome Marco Tunison from the project Super Circular Estate. Hello, Marco. It's a pleasure to have you as our guest tonight. Oh, thank you. It's an uh, an honour to be asked uh, for this interview. So, how did you manage to set this up? Super Circular Estate is about... um, uh, a project in uh, Karakrade in our city, uh, where uh, um, an old neighborhood is transformed into a new and modern neighborhood, uh, where uh, in the past uh, four high-rise buildings uh, are demolished, and one big new uh, high-rise building uh, will be built. But the most uh, spectacular thing about the project is that it's uh, created on a circular way. It's uh, the demolishment of the uh, former high-rise buildings uh, has done on a circular way. So uh, old materials are being used in the new project area. Did you get any feedback from the public? How was the project received? It is very important to to keep the uh, neighbourhood around. yeah, um, informed, but also let them participate in the project, because otherwise, uh, otherwise, um, it won't work out. Because you need them, um, they need us. So it's a nice uh, co-creation. Uh, yeah, w- uh, together with the neighborhood around, and we uh, discuss several topics, and um, we also had some co-design workshops. Uh, for example, to create the outdoor space, the public space. Uh, we asked we asked them uh, what do you want uh, in the outdoor space? You know, they gave some examples. Of course, we have to, we had to look: uh, is it possible? Do we have the money for it? That's also a very important thing. Um, but together with this neighborhood steering platform, we created the outdoor space of the project area, and yeah, that's a, that's a very nice thing to do. So, if other cities or municipalities want to build new houses by reusing the material of old ones. What would be your advice to them? I have to keep in mind that um, yeah, demolishing and building on a circular way, at this point uh, in 2021, the economy is not uh, built on it. So what you need is <laughs> yeah, a very uh, big bag <laughs> of money because it's way more expensive than the traditional way of building and demolishing. And hopefully in the near future, uh, when way more cities are uh, approaching projects on this way it, uh, and, and the media attention for it gets uh, bigger and bigger, hopefully yeah, um, the economy will uh, yeah, evolve and uh, the prices will, of course, uh, decrease and uh, that this will become the new way of building in the next few, deca- few, uh, few decades. Thank you, Marco, for joining us. Not a problem. Uh, You're welcome. All right, Nancy. Let me see that petition. Okay. Hey, Nancy, this petition says it's for the legalization of... Whoops! Wrong petition. (laughs) Well, that's it for tonight. We'll see you next week. Uh, Brian, don't forget. Huh? You know... 
We talked about this. <sighs> Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to never miss a new episode. If you want to. No pressure. Until then, reuse your socks, but wash them first. And remember to stay on your toes. They're talking.